All right, Devin, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah. Really appreciate you sitting down with me. Look, I'm going to be real with you. Your sales numbers for Q4 are really low. Yeah, I know. It's something I really want to work on. I feel like there were a couple of deals that I thought were going to close and then maybe have to push them to Q1 of next year, but I'm really hoping to get them, get them done. I'm really hoping that too, and I need you to work harder, okay? I feel like there's still some stuff that you need to learn, all right? I want to do a few mock calls with you, all right? Okay? Let's go ahead. Sure. All right, cool. Let's start out with a call. I'll be the customer. Uh, let's just try it out. You give me a call. Okay, ring. Hello. Hi, uh, I just wanted to call, check in, see how our deal's progressing. I gotta tell you, I'm not quite ready to get into an investment because uh, I'm kind of tied up in this retail situation I got going on. Oh, tell me, tell me about this. Is it a business you're starting? I'm... Uh, you're familiar with the movie Shrek? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they made that movie, they did a limited line of TVs, glass TVs. They're little and they got ears coming out of them and it says Shrek on the top and they're green. Uh, okay. I got a sweet deal, about 400 of them. Wow. So I'm opening up a store and I'm going to sell these Trek TVs. Oh, so like, a, you know, like, a, like an Etsy, like, a, like an eBay thing, you're, you're, you're set up an online store and you're going to Brick and sell. mortar, down on Main Street, come in, buy yourself a Shrek TV. Cool, awesome. Yeah, I think now's the perfect time to, to invest with us, get a nice healthy return on that investment, and then maybe you can expand your store uh, to include memorabilia from maybe the other Shrek movies or, or some of the spin-offs that have been around, you know? Um, Hold on a second, other Shrek movies? Yeah, there's been a, there's been a few, uh, like two or three, and then actually, I think there's some spin-off movies too. Are you doing a bit or this is real? No, yeah, it's real, yeah. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, they're, they're okay. Yeah, I think I've seen them. So there's potentially more promotional material that came out with those movies. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you got yourself a deal. Consider right. this closed. All right. Hey, pretty good. Well, yeah, it felt a little weird, uh, but, you know. You taught them something. I mean, they, I didn't know about the Shrek sequels. Yeah. So, and this guy didn't either. Right, yeah. So, cool. that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, thanks. This has been... Uh, you're not off the hook just yet. Oh, you got lucky with the Shrek guy. Okay. Let's try a different situation. Mix it up a little bit, all right? Yeah. Give me a call. Uh, uh, ring. Hello? Hey, uh, I sent over uh, the contract for you to sign, and uh, I, think we can, I think we should get it signed. Move, move this. Uh, gotta tell you, Devin, I'm not ready to sign the contract. I'm going to court for a murder uh, trial. Maybe now's the best time to invest. You know, you wanna keep your assets safe um, if you're gonna be on trial for murder. My accountant was at odds with me over my Shrek store. I had to kind of get him out of the way. So he and I went on a trip that I paid for and we stayed at a very nice Four Seasons Hotel in Italy. Okay. On that trip, we took a boat ride. On the boat ride, he and I had an argument about the Shrek store. He fell off the side of the boat. I pushed him. I hit him over the head with a paddle. That's all up for debate. He's dead. I could have gotten away with it, but I pulled him out of the water. He was just kind of floating there, right? You know what I mean? I've been there. So you killed? Um, I mean, do you want me to keep this guy on the line? Uh, He's kind of like me. Okay. Um, yeah. I, yep. In college, uh, it was a it was a sort of a vehicular manslaughter. Vehicular manslaughter. Yeah. Just you know, I didn't see him. It was dark. Um, I, you know, I've been at a party hit a man and kept driving uh -huh. and he died yep yeah uh-huh boy you're saying all the right things i i've already got you on board with the shrek store and now i know that you've killed somebody i mean that's you know what i want to do business with you great fantastic thanks devin hey that was pretty good yeah 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 well anyways uh thanks uh, this has been you're not off the hook yet I just gave you two softballs. Okay. I'll yeah. give you another person, all right? All right. Give me a call. Uh, ring. Hello. Hey, uh, it's Devin. Uh, Gotta tell you, Devin, I don't think I can close this deal. My money is real tied up. I've kind of got into this sort of membership situation where, you know, you could call it a sex cult, but, you know, whatever it is, I'm in deep. I can't invest because my money is real tied up with them. They got my house. They haven't touched the Shrek TVs. They're not interested, which I think they're dumb for not doing that because that's worth a lot of money. They kind of know about the accountant situation and they're kind of holding that against me. So 
Little Birdie told me about a hit and run situation that you had in your past, which is totally regrettable, totally understandable, but it's a checkered past nonetheless. So what I would do is I would use that against you to have you join the cult. And by me bringing in a new member, I get a major discount on my fees. And I think what they would do was sort of put a hold on what I owe them until the the uh, legal situation blows over, and then the investments from the Shrek store, when those start to come back to me, then I can pay them. So, what do you think? Um, I'm hesitant to join a sex cult where I'm gonna be extorted. I wouldn't worry about the extortion. Think more about the sex part. Okay. Sex is cool, imagine doing that pretty much whenever you want. Anybody you wanna do it with, as long as they wanna do it with you. What, what, what do you think? It sounds too good to be true. That's um, because it is. You know what? Let me put you on hold. I'm going to have my partner uh, get you the paperwork. One second here. Great. So, so I got my signature, and then if you just add yours, just click and sign, uh, and then that's I'm there. I'm sorry. Why am I signing? You got to roll with it. Okay. You never know what punches are going to throw at you. You got to turn, and you got to dodge. It. Okay. Great. Okay, deal. So hold on. Uh, Devin, that's great. I got your paperwork. The signature looks good. Uh, I'm going to send that along and you're locked in. So that's great. And, you know, and if you have any hesitations, this is a recording device. I use it for all my phone calls. So I got you when you're talking about the, the hit and run that you had. And so I would use that, you know, against you right. in a court of law. Um, and but th th that's fine. I mean, there's no animosity. You've signed. You're joining the club. You and I are going to be together and that's going to be great. So, hey. A deal's a deal. Consider this deal closed. Great. Wow. Um, what? You should feel good about this. Okay. I mean, honestly, when you first came in here, I was going to fire you. You kept your job. Yeah. You joined in a cool club. You were invested in this Shrek store, which is going to pay dividends. Okay, yeah. And, uh, you know, you and I got a little bond, a sort of a murder bond. Yeah, okay. Um, can I bring anything? The sex cult? No.